There are certain objects in this world that are supposedly cursed, meaning all or many of those who have come near these objects have met their untimely deaths or other misfortunes. From a man buried in ice who kills everyone that researches him, to a doll supposedly possessed by a demon. Join us as we count 10 terribly cursed objects that kill people. Number 10. Maori Mask The Maori were an indigenous people in New Zealand who carved out masks and statues before heading into battle. According to Maori beliefs, the masks housed the souls of warriors who fell in battle. While the curse of the mask posed no threat to other men, women who are pregnant or are currently menstruating are said to be cursed with harm or bad luck if they get near or worse touch one. Number 9. Black Olive Diamond The Black Olive Diamond, also called the Eye of Brahma, was stolen from a Hindu shrine and legend says that the theft caused the item to be cursed. The diamond was passed down to multiple female owners, many of whom took their own lives, two of which leapt to their deaths from tall buildings. The diamond was later bought by Charles F. Winson, who cut it into three pieces in an attempt to break the curse. The question is, did it work? Only time will tell. Number 8. Tutankhamun's Tomb Perhaps the most famous curse of all is the Tomb of Tutankhamun, found by Howard Carter. It states that all who enter will be struck with bad luck, illness or death. True to the curse, Howard Carter's financial backer Lord Carnarvon died when a mosquito bite became infected. 20 more deaths would be attributed to the curse by 1935. Number 7. Iceman Another mummy believed to carry a terrible curse. Utzi, aka the Iceman, was discovered in September of 1991 in the Utzel Alps in Italy. Believed to have lived around 3300 BC, Utzi supposedly is responsible for the deaths of at least seven people, including forensic pathologist Rainer Hen, killed in a terrible car accident, mountaineer Kurt Fritz, who died in an avalanche, and the mummy's discoverer hiker Helmut Simon, who died after falling off a treacherous path. Number 6. James Dean's Little Bastard Little Bastard was James Dean's silver Porsche 550 Spider and is the car he died in following an accident in 1955. After it was sold for parts, the car's curse began to manifest itself when the car fell and crushed a mechanic's legs. Later, a doctor who brought the car's engine was killed in a car accident. Another victim who bought the transmission was severely injured in a car crash. The tyres sold from the Little Bastard blew out simultaneously, sending their buyer to the hospital. And lastly, a truck carrying the car's shell crashed, killing the driver. Seems a little too much to be coincidence, don't you think? Number 5. The Bassano Vase Legend has it that this silver vase was made in the 15th century and was given to a bride on the eve of her wedding. However, on this night, the bride was murdered with the vase still in her hands. The vase was then passed down to her family line, but anyone who claimed it died shortly after. It took many deaths before the family finally hid the vase, but it resurfaced in 1988 with a note that says, Beware, this vase brings death. When the Bassano vase was auctioned, however, the note was not included in the item description and the pharmacist who bought it died within three months. There would be three more deaths before finally a desperate family begged the police to take it. Number 4. The Anguished Man It's rumoured that this painting possesses an evil aura. Supposedly, the artist that created it used his own blood mixed with paint and killed himself shortly after its completion. Sean Robinson's grandmother claimed to hear voices and crying when the painting was displayed. She also claimed to see the shadowy figure of a man in her house, which is why she locked it away in the attic. As soon as Robinson inherited the painting from her, he and his family started experiencing the same kinds of creepy phenomenon. His son fell down the stairs, his wife felt something stroking her hair, and they saw the shadow man. Robinson soon put the painting down in his basement and has been unwilling to sell it since. Number 3. Annabelle the Doll Bought in an antique shop in 1970, a woman gave this raggedy doll to her daughter, Donna, who was in nursing school. At first, the doll seemed like any other doll. However, things started to get creepy when Donna and roommate Angie kept coming home to find the doll in different positions and different locations. In a startling turn of events, the doll began leaving them notes saying, help us, and as if that's not bad enough, they also found the doll with blood on it. For obvious reasons, Lou, 
A guy friend of Donna and Angie tried to get the girls to get rid of the doll. This, however, displeased the doll, who then tried to strangle Lou via a nightmare or physical encounter. The girls eventually called Ed and Lorraine Warren, the folks who investigated the Amityville house who decided the doll was actually a conduit to hell and was being used by a demon. After two failed exorcism attempts, the doll was encased in a specially made glass case in the Warren's Occult Museum, where it supposedly still moves. Number 2. Uluru Rocks Uluru is a giant, sacred and majestic rock in the Australian outback that sees thousands of visitors each year. While it is illegal to take rocks out of the country, some daring tourists do so anyway. However, these daring tourists are said to experience the curse of misfortune, including illness, marriage breakups and even death, and as a result, people regularly mailed the rocks back to various Australian agencies with letters of apology. Number 1. The Busby Stoop Chair This chair was supposedly cursed by the English drunkard and murderer Thomas Busby before he was executed for murdering his father-in-law Daniel Orty in 1702, whom he supposedly strangled for sitting in his favourite chair. On his way to the gallows in 1702, he asked to stop by the pub and put a curse on his chair, claiming that anyone who sat in it would be haunted and soon die. It remained in the pub for centuries, and people were dared to sit in it. During World War II, airmen from a nearby base made the pub a hotspot, and the chair became a hot seat, and people noticed the ones who sat in it would never come back from war. In 1967, two Royal Air Force pilots sat in it, and while driving back, they crashed into a tree and died. A few years later, two bricklayers decided to try it, and that afternoon, the one who sat in it fell to his death. The cursed chair has apparently killed every person who has sat in it, no matter what. 